right. Let's go have a look. There it is. Hello, Rai. Yay! I don't know which one this is, but very exciting. All right. Just gonna try and going around now. Hey guys, how are you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. Hello. All right. All right. Yes. Just gonna go around the road. Who this is? It's a young leopard. I don't know. This might have been a new leopard because he doesn't seem that happy with the vehicles around. So I'm gonna give him a bit of space. I know this is a bit of a gremlin zone, so guys, hopeful thoughts. I think he is somewhere around here. Let's see. He's in a bit of a tricky spot. And I'm not gonna follow it too much off road. It's, there it is. It's not, it's not too relaxed. Tags, uh, I've got him here. Sorry, go again. Uh, I'm not sure. I thought it was a Madora, but I'll try to have a better look. There it is, just hiding behind the bushes. I wonder who you are, Mystery Leopard. If you guys want to give us a hand and just see, we've got a bit of a spot pattern there that we can see. I just don't recognize this face. I don't, I don't think I've seen it before. Let me just try going a bit forward. Maybe there it'll be. I don't I, don't, I thought it was a Madora, I don't know why, but... <laughs> but maybe it's a Mafazi. Yeah, I think maybe it's Shadow, I don't know. I don't, I have, I've only seen Shadow once, so I'm not too sure. But like I said, if any of you guys are having a look, are able to see the spot patcher and let us know who, who it is, um, please do use the hashtag Safari Live. I thought it was a young male, but um, I could very well be mistaken because I had no visual proof of that. Okay, it is a female. Okay. Hm. Are you Shadow? Well, how's that <laughs> for an unexpected morning? Hiding behind the bushes. I think maybe it was actually on the hunt and that's why it was running the way it was. Michael, you say it might be in Chile. Um, I've never seen her before, so why not? If you've got, if you had a look at the spot pattern and it matches, and yay, a new, a new friend that we have found. She seems to be quite a small one, and I think I only saw her once, quite a, quite a long time ago. So you see, she's not the most relaxed of leopards. I'm gonna try going forward, because she is heading straight into Buffalo's Hook, where we can't follow. Hello, morning. 
There she goes, down on the big game path. Well done, girl. Very clever you are. So you see, if you've ever wondered if animals do use a game path, I mean, look at that. It's a perfect highway for her to go down, and she seems to be headed straight towards Sydney's dam. Robert, you're wondering why the leopard is so nervous. Well, it could be that she is busy missioning somewhere, that she wants to try to get somewhere and she's got a purpose of her own that we don't know. But sometimes, if the leopards don't see too many vehicles, oh, too many people, then let me just let them pass in front of us. Sorry, I'm gonna get out for you. If they don't see too many, they don't see too many cars they're not that relaxed with the vehicle so it'll happen sometimes that they'll just be slightly more nervous than what they normally are so i'm just gonna let these guys go ahead of us no problem i'm gonna follow you now all right because we might be able to get another view all right pretty sure that she's crossed already so yeah if a, if it's a female that hasn't seen too many cars or she hasn't been used to having s there she is that she hasn't seen too many vehicles around then she's not as relaxed and this is why leopards are so hard to see they tend to be more like her in general um, than the fantastic ones that we have that are more habituated to the vehicles because you see she's very small and hiding in between running around it's quite hard to spot her and there she goes back in. I think she's up to something. I think she's gonna cross in front of us. So we have come to, viewers have come to an agreement. You guys think it's Inchila, the granddaughter of Salaesh. Well, I know somebody was asking about Salaesh yesterday, and it's funny that we've got the granddaughter now joining in. I think I only saw Anchila once uh, when I was working at Simambili, not more than that. But now that there's a big gap open in this area um, for territory, maybe different leopards are going to start pushing in, coming around, see if, you know, if maybe they can start making this one a home. I think she has crossed onto Bufosuk. I'm gonna see if maybe she'll pop out somewhere around here. See if perhaps we can have a, a little bit of a look. Or one final look. And I don't know, I don't think this is normally part of the territory or the area where she goes off to. So in this other oh, she is in the open. Uh. she's more on the hunt than anything else she seems to be trudging i don't think she's 100 percent relaxed around the vehicles like some of the other cats that we have around like hosanna and Shangile, but she's still look the vehicle is closed and she hasn't run away and i think it is mostly because she is looking for something so very likely she's she's been hunting this morning because when we saw her there were some impala not too far so what could have happened is that she was in a particular area looking for food and these impala started alarming so she gets a bit nervous and runs away to try and start over from another area where they haven't still um spotted her where they had where they don't know that she's there yet i think she's just carried on moving now towards buffalo's hook I want to see if these guys move around, see if perhaps we can get one last view. So she is there, but she is heading straight towards Emanuelletti. <laughs> oh, but how's that? W wonderful and unexpected female leopard very early in the morning. I am so happy to have seen Anchila.